Phil Neville says that he's still very optimistic as to what this squad can achieve. Do you, do you hold those kind of views as well? I've said from the start of the season that I thought we've got a really good squad of players. We disappointed in the, certainly in the first six months or so, but uh, the players have picked up and uh, probably got more more in a position where I think a lot of people thought we might have been. I hoped it would have, would have done a little bit better, but uh, we are where we are. With the injuries that you have as well, have you shown in the last few weeks that, that you have got depth as well? Yeah, we've given we've given some young boys a game, and it, what it's done is it's uh, it's given given the team something. It's what we've tended to do here. We've tried not to not complain too much about the injuries, get on with it, and encourage the players who've got in the team. And uh, yeah, to be fair, the lads have, have knuckled down and, and got some good results. With Victor and each of you getting up to fitness as well. Is this a real chance between now and the end of the season to push on and, and, and prove his worth again? He's just one of many players, isn't he? So we've got a few like that, and uh, no, yeah. He's got a chance as well. He he had uh, he done well for 45 minutes last week, so he has to be able to show that. Probably, or at least could have had a penalty. Do you think? I didn't think it was a penalty. Certainly, the, there was a few appeals from the fans where they went. Really yeah, well, penalty. look, I see it as how I see it, mm. and uh, that's why when I say I think it's a penalty, I hope people take me as my word, and the referees do as well. Mm. I didn't think it was a penalty kick, and uh, the referees always think that we. You know, we're always moaning at them or whatnot, but I thought the referee got it right. Uh, are Wigan a different proposition to some of the sides that you face battling the drop because of the brand of football that they play? Well, I don't know if it's any different to the position where we, we sort of played with Wolves a few weeks ago and uh, we had Blackburn a few weeks ago as well. So I think I think the style of football under Roberto is a really good style of football and uh, you know we know we have to deal with that. But also... Uh, the situation they're in is very similar to the other teams as well, so we've been in that position against those teams recently. What do you make of the job that Roberto's doing there? I think he's doing a really good job with what he's got available to him at the club he's at. I think he's he's doing a, a smashing job. Is it difficult to stick to those kind of footballing principles that he's had when, when you're just battling against the drop and working on... on no, he wants to play good football, but all managers want to win, and I'm sure he's the same, you know, and I'm sure he would probably take not playing that well and winning, but... Uh, we all would, but if you can do it playing good stuff, then, then even better. Uh, how are you looking squad-wise as well? Uh, I think hopefully we'll have we'll have a lot of people available. Uh, Mikel Arteta has trained this week, so uh, I'm hoping that he'll be able to be included in the squad. And uh, uh, Johnny Heitinger, he's the one we need to look at because he's still got a problem with his hamstring, but he's done a little bit of training. So we'll have a look at him today and see how he is. Tim Cale obviously got 45 minutes. Uh, do you have to be careful with, with Tim as well? Between, do you have to nurse him along? At the yeah, point? I think so. We're not sure, you know, if Tim, as I said, looks as if he's probably got about 60 minutes in him in, in most of the games at the moment. Uh, we're not sure how how his foot's going to react. So, you know, it's how we how we try and play it with him really, and and try and use him if we can between now and the end of the season. Is that break for him then at the end of the season going to be massive for him in terms of getting fresh and, and fit again? Only if it only if it gets rid of his foot injury, you know. If it if it lingers, then it the break's no good, you know. So we've got to hope it gets rid of his foot injury. How, how concerned are you with that? that it's well, it's injury? it's concerning because it's one of these things that you know it might go away tomorrow, but it might be here in three months' time. It's one of these one of these injuries. Is it nothing that surgery can do, or is it just purely? No, I don't think so. I think it's something which tends to just burn itself out and uh, and sort of get better in time. Uh, just away from the game as well, Dave, what, what do you make of, of being linked with, with Aston Villa this week? It's nothing to do with me, is it? Nothing to do with me. I'm, I'm in a great club and a great job, so I don't know what to say to you. you know, 